this is Jake from PokerDataMine.net and today I'm going to show you how to save hand histories as well as datamine on Bodoc Poker. Before we start I would like to talk a little bit about Bodoc Poker because they are a pretty small site and they are also a little bit special in the way that uh, the poker hand history system works because um, they don't actually save hand histories on your computer so if you want to import your, your own hands into a program like for example Poker Tracker 3 or Holo Manager, you will have to download a hand grabber and actually data mine um, in order to get your own hand histories. And in order to do this, we are going to use Bodoc Hand Grabber, which I'm going to launch now. If you don't have Bodoc Hand Grabber, you can get it by going to my website at www.pokerdatamine.net slash datamine dash bodoc dash poker, where you can download a free trial and try it out for, for yourself. So you can see here that Bodoc Hand Grabber has been launched, and it is a pretty simple little program. It all you need to do is type in a path here where the hand history should be saved. By default, it saves them in on the C drive in the program files folder, and inside that, it's in uh, Bodoc Hand Grabber. And then there is an on and off switch. So I'm gonna turn it. Now it's off, and now it's on. So I have opened the Bodoc Poker Client here and I'm going to open a couple of tables. So as you can see, I have opened three tables on Bodoc Poker and I also have Bodoc Hand Grabber running and it's turned on. And now Bodoc Hand Grabber will save hand histories uh, from every hand that's played on these three tables as long as they are open and Bodoc Hand Grabber is turned on. And you can see this by looking at, looking at the lower right hand corner in Bodoc Hand Grabber. Um, you can see here that it says that it has saved one hand. And if you leave it running while the tables are open, it will just continue counting upwards. And I'll just um, pause the video for a while here so I can gather a couple of hand histories before I continue. I'm back, and as you can see, the hand grab has saved 57 hands while we're gone. So I'm satisfied with the results here. So I'm going to stop it and shut it down. And I'll also close the Bodoc Poker Client. And I'll open Home Manager to import the hand histories I've just data mined. And uh, to do this, I'll go to Import Files. And you can see here that, yeah, right here, that I'm already in the Bodoc Hand Grabber folder. So I'll just select all text files, click Open. And Home Manager will import all the hand users I've just data mined here. And you can watch here that it's counting them, and it says that there are 88. This is probably because I tested it out um, for, and probably data mined like. 20 hands or so before making the video. And I'll just go to players here. And I will search for product players because I don't play at product poker. So all the players here are from um, the data mining I have just done. And I will see here that I'll select a Bally Know Her. It's just a random product player here. And just to show you that, um, yeah, barely know her. I've selected her. Selected, um, just to make sure that it works here. Barely know her. Like this. And I will go to the hands tab. And I'll just show you one of the hands so you can see that it works. It's just. Uh, yeah, there it is. And you can see here, this is from the table called Jacob's Field. And as you can see, yeah, it's just pretty boring hand history, but whatever. You can see that uh, it's working, and you can do this yourself just by downloading the hand grabber. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you would like to download the Bodo Camp Grabber yourself on, and try it out. You can get a free trial by going to my website at www.pokerdatamining.net slash datamine-bodoc-poker.